hello 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 this is frida welcome to my channel for uh this to the part two i'm going to show you how to do the increases when uh, we're our crocheting top down <laughs> and then i'm going to show you how i did i did the link the tutorial on how to crochet the stitch but uh, while i was crocheting this top i figured a way to make the leaves more uh pointy so I'm going to show you how to do that. As you can see in the tutorial, I don't do that because I wasn't, you know, you the more you crochet, the more you, you figure out how to make uh, these tricks. So uh, just let's point it that way. So I have already crocheted. I think I believe this is the third row. And uh, I am at the point where, where I'm going to be doing the decrease on the leaf here. The leaf. Leaf. <laughs> and um, so. Okay. So what I do is instead of crocheting, what I do is I skip one. So I get rid of that uh, one extra double crochet. So uh, we start with five and then we increase it to seven. Now we're decreasing it from uh, 7 to 5. So I have my 4 and I jump right here. I skip that 1 and this is how I do the decrease on the leaf. So I wanted to show you this. 3, 4, 5, 6. And when, when we're doing the decreases, we have to add an extra chain to give that uh, extra because we're doing the decrease. And uh, when you don't do... The extra chain it it stretch it it, it will um, pull itself see how it looks on my uh my top here my cardigan that i am crocheting i figured that out at the beginning that it wasn't uh it was too tight the six chains were too tight so that extra chain gives that room three four five six seven i only do that in between when i'm working the stitches not at the beginning nor at the end so uh, again i will show you one more time to do the decrease here i skip that one stitch and i jump till i have four then i skip that other end See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I do again at the uh, extra chain here because uh, this is uh, decreasing, right? So uh, just to be cautious, you need to put that extra chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will show you one more time so skip one double crochet and then skip that at the end one two three four five six seven and then make my uh two double crochet two chain and then two double crochet and I just continue crocheting okay so I'll come back and show you how to make the pointy to make the um, three double crochet at the top and uh, just to show you and uh, I'll be right back okay so I am crocheting the next row and uh, here uh, um, I start, I did my four double crochet, I chain seven. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a double crochet. So I pull the first two loops and I go yarn over. Okay, because there's supposed to be three stitches here. We're doing a decrease. And then what I do is I go in the middle on the third, uh, the double crochet right there I do not pull it again I go yarn over and I go to the end and I make my third double crochet so I go to the fifth and then I pull all at once so it gives me this nice pointy um, leaf see 
and I'm going to continue crocheting one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is supposed to be the the branch or a uh, that we crochet a double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I said at the beginning, we did six double crochets, but when we're doing the decrease, we do seven double uh, seven chains. I'm sorry, seven chains. We do at the beginning we did six uh, chain. Now we're doing seven because uh, the decrease. Okay, so I come to the third double crochet. I pull it twice, and I come to the fifth. And I pull it twice and I pull all the remaining loops together. See if this is how I I figured it out. I don't know. This is what I did. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. I repeat this. Just like this. See how it looks? Okay, so I'm gonna do my increase. Okay, to do my increase, it's time because I did my last decrease here. So I'm going to chain six. Okay, right here where the, the seven double the seven chain is, I'm going to make a double crochet. So this is going to be my increase. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, not seven, six. And then come right here and then make two double crochet two chain and then two double crochet six chain yarn over and then make a double crochet where that seven chain is because i need to do an increase on the front and increase on the sleeve six chain two three five six and then come here and then continue making my decrease on the leaf here jump one jump to the fifth pull the two loop and then remaining pull the remaining four loops one two three four five six chain and then come here and then do an increase one double crochet six chain four five six and then make two double crochet two chain and then two double crochet one two three four five six seven and then make my increase uh set six seven would be too many because I am doing six chain, one double crochet, six chain. If I do seven, then it would be too many chain because uh, of this area here, right? And this is how it looks like so far. And this is how we do our increases. So every time you're doing the three uh, double crochet uh, uh, decrease method, always at the end when you're supposed to do where the marker is this is our marker so then you make your increase which would be one double crochet so two three four five six and then continue making your decrease on the leaf here make that pointy well, just like this that one's one two three four five six seven because we're in the middle right you need that extra chain now one two three four five six seven okay so i will continue and uh i will show you the increase again here just to show you one more time and i'll be right back okay so i'm at the end of the back here i did my decrease and i'm going to make an increase uh, extra leaf here to do that six chain one double crochet six chain then come here and i am done doing my increases increases 
on the back to chain to double crochet to chain to double crochet oops one two three four five six and then make a double crochet right here one two three four five six and then continue crocheting one two three four five six this is a sleeve area and then add that extra double crochet two three four five six and then continue crocheting the marker i'm going to call this the marker that's where it shows the dividing the body parts one two three four five six and i make my increase which is on the front and i am done doing starting up uh, an increase every time i finish a leaf i will start a new increase a new leaf that's how the body gets uh, bigger and bigger the fabric of the uh, cardigan three four five six and then continue crocheting okay so uh this is all i'm oops don't pull it at once we need those last two loops so i will finish this row and i will come back to show you how to continue crocheting and uh we'll go from there three four five six seven okay i'll be right back Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. I know it's not blocked or seamed or steamed or anything. So uh, this is how it looks like. It's it's way bigger than the uh, than the mustard that I'm crocheting because of the yarn, right? Even this yarn is, uh, I believe, it's like a light three, I would say, heavy two maybe. But uh, yeah, it gives just gives a big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna start a new row, which the new row is, I uh, on top of the leaves, I'm going to be making double crochets, and on top of the double crochet, I'm going to be making leaves. So to do that, so we're going to, to uh, double crochet five total of five. That's how you start, uh, three, four, five, just like this. There's six chain between went back to the beginning how we started and on top sometimes it will be difficult for you to do the double crochet on top of the leaf so you, what you do is you just grab the the 2v that you see here and then you make your double crochet okay and then we just continue crocheting two three four five six and then make a Five double crochets just like this. we're just setting it up setting up the stitch again four five one two three four five six and then make a double crochet where that uh, pointy of the leaf is one two three four five six and then come here where that double crochet that we did the increase we're going to make a leaf on top of it to make the leaf we're going to crochet a total of five double crochets two three four five one two three four five six and then come where the marker is which you do two double crochet two chain two double crochet one two three four five six and come where that double crochet is 
and make your leaf, which is five double crochet, starting up the leaf. Just like this. And this is all you do. This is how you do your increase. Three, four. So every time you finish a leaf, you start a new leaf. So don't forget, so when every time when you're finishing the leaf where the marker is, we need to make a new leaf. So you start with the double crochet. And then this is my own design. I made this up. This is not out there. There's no written pattern. So I am the one who created this design. And I think it's brilliant. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to show you the mustard. Okay, this is the mustard that I'm about to divide the body parts. So I just want to show. Again, you need to measure it. Measure, measure, measure. Because I am a plus size. I did this uh, 11 inches down because the yarn being thin. So I did actually crochet more than 11 inches. But uh, again, if you are a small size, I would say 7 inches down to divide and then divide the body parts. And if you are uh, medium, eight, eight and a half inches down, large, eight and a half to nine, and that goes on. Just measure, uh, put it on. If you feel comfortable, you can divide the body parts. Okay, I just wanted to show you how I started doing my increases, see? So here, this is different because uh, I started wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> this is just a... Uh, exercise for me so the more but this green one is going to turn out fantastic because i did it with you guys i set it up with you guys so uh here are my increases can you see every time i finish a leave i started a new one i finished a leave i started a new one i so i did that one two three four five and i did my six my six leaf here right here so now i'm going to divide the body parts because I don't want to do any increases. You can make a poncho out of this as well. You can continue making your increases and don't make don't separate the body parts and parts and ta-da, it's a poncho. Perfect. I think it would be brilliant for a poncho. So if you want to make a poncho, you can make a poncho with wool yarn, acrylic yarn, thicker yarn and it would be great in the winter in the fall. It would be fantastic. Actually, I'm planning to make myself a poncho, but uh, with a uh, wool yarn and uh, go from there. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to uh, wear a jacket, just something to put over your shoulders. Okay, so uh, that's another idea I can give you. Okay, so this is how uh, you do your increases. And then what you do is you just divide the body parts just like this. The sleeve area, this is the front. And then... Uh, you can go from there. So if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them uh, under this video. I, I would really appreciate it. I get so many comments, so many uh, questions from everywhere. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. But I would love to get to you something, your comment from under the video that you're asking. Other than that, I have all, over 700 videos and I can't remember which one you're talking about and uh, which one you're referring to. So I, I would really appreciate it if you can message me through under the video that you have a question. And I try to reply. Some uh, usually, The ones that I don't reply, I flag them or I delete them are like not nice ones. Just to point out. So, uh, yeah, this is all I'm going to say for this video. And you just continue crocheting until uh, the length that you need. It's, uh, but this is how you set it up and how you do your increases. And I showed you how to do the decreases on the, sleeve, on the leaf uh, that you uh, crochet. And then I showed you how to, uh, how to uh, start a new leaf. So... Uh, I hope this uh, video is helpful for you and stay tuned for part three. I'm going to show you how to divide the body part on that uh, card again that I'm working on. Six chain and then you come and you make a new leaf here. It's that easy actually. It's so easy and it's so fun. 
to create your own design. Yeah, so uh, I will let you guys go and I'll see you on the next video. Because I have to start a new video that's going to be a separate one. And I will uh, see you uh, on the next video, part three. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified. Indicating I posted a new video. Three, four, five, six, chain. And then uh, don't uh, forget to come and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Instagram, I think. I make my videos on TikTok and I share it on my Instagram page with nice music. <laughs> and I play around with photos and make a nice video out of them. Real, I make reels out of them. So uh, for you guys to come and enjoy. Yeah, it's four, five, six. And then this is all to it. It's so fun and so easy. And it's elegant. It just looks nice. Well, you guys take care. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Happy crocheting.